Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and today we are going to start on my 13 kilo robot for AVC. Uh, so this is a big um, fight over in the States that I'm going to go over and attend myself. But I need a robot, I don't have a decent 13 kilo robot to my name right now. So today we're actually kind of doing a little bit of pre-work. So all of the files are off with a metal cutter at the moment but we are going to go ahead and make a wooden template for all of them so that I can check that all of my electronics fit where I want them to fit and just make sure that all of the fit up is kind of nice and ready to go so that by the time I get the steel in and I can weld it all together I know that everything kind of fits where I want it to fit and I have a good idea of how all of the pieces fit together. So yeah, today it's basically wooden template. It's a wooden template robot as a, a full beast. Uh, so, the first thing we need to do is go uh, to my local fab lab so that I can cut all the pieces on the laser cutter. Let's get that started. Okay, so while we leave those uh, armor pieces or the actual robot chassis pieces aside to dry, I just wanted to geek out over this thing! Check this out! Whoop! <laughs> I keep throwing it around because it is so goddamn cool. This here is the template for the weapon blade itself. It is half a meter or 500, uh, 500 millimeters long. And when it is fully cut out of hard ox steel, it is going to weigh two and a half kilos and it is absolutely awesome. This thing is just, oh, I'm so, so keen to see this made out of metal. Just the wooden one alone is really, really awesome. Although uh, I do keep breaking the, the tips of this thing by dropping it, which is uh, not great, but this, this weapon is just super, super cool. Okay, <laughs> um, yeah, by now those pieces should be dry, so let's go ahead and glue some more pieces on. I just wanted to show you the awesomeness that is this blade that we're going to be doing. Actually, I probably should say this is going to be an overhead uh, weapon, so it is going to be angled slightly like this, and then the wheels are going to be out the back, and there is going to be a 6mm hard ox wedge in underneath everything, but the blade should contact people way, way before they contact the wedge. The wedge is more there that so that if and or when this blade stops moving, uh, yeah, I've still got some kind of defense because this is going to be my first ever 13 kilogram spinner. So I wanted to make sure that, yeah, even if the spinner died, suddenly the robot wasn't going to be completely immobile and uh, completely defenseless. So anyway, let's get back to gluing up the pieces and then we'll have a look at jamming some electronics and stuff into there. <laughs> Thank you. 
And there it is, check this thing out. So this is the full wooden template done and dusted for. Uh, this is, I'm actually gonna call this very, very obvious is the new featherweight because this bar up the top here, the 500 millimeter long, uh, currently wooden but very soon to be metal bar is very, very obvious. Uh, so this is the new robot design ready to go. I'm pretty happy with how everything sits inside here at the moment There is a lot of space up in here uh, that I can pack electronics and bits and pieces Obviously, there's going to be a brushless motor in the middle to spin the weapon But there's lots and lots of room on either side to pack electronics and bits and pieces Everything seems to have gone together pretty well um, the wheels have come on really nicely. The only thing here is that the clearance between the wheels and the weapons isn't quite as isn't quite what I hoped it would be because uh, I really want to add some bike tire to the outside of these to give these grip. But I don't know. We might try some other form of grip. We'll have to have a, a good think about that one between now and when the metal comes in for all of this. The other thing I can do is add more spaces into the uh, wheel mounts, and that will push the whole robot up a little bit and I think cause the angle here to be a little bit better so that I can actually put, uh, yeah, um, tire, bike tread around these tires to give it more grip. The other advantage too to doing that is that uh, the weapon will be closer to the ground. Currently it's about 20 mil away between uh, the tip of the blade and the ground at the lowest point, which is pretty cool. That's pretty low, that means I'm gonna hit 99.95% .95 of robots uh, but if we lift this up just a little bit, the blade will get closer and closer to the ground. Obviously, we don't want it too close to the ground. I think somewhere between 15 and 20 mil is probably pretty good. Uh, but as I said, I can make that change by moving these motors up and down a little bit, depending on the spacer that I put between the top plate and the actual motor mount on the inside. Uh, anyway, that is a lot of stuff that I've got to do in the meantime. However, for now, what I need to do is wait for the metal parts of this to come in. And I think, in actual fact, while we're waiting for the metal parts to come in, we'll probably have a look at Annie Are You OK? Because Annie Are You OK, my undercutter beetle, is going to come with me to ARC, uh, AVC as well. And yeah, that needs a few kind of minor upgrades before we take it over there so that it's just a little bit more competitive and it's gonna be a little bit more fun to drive while we're there. Uh, so yeah, I think like I said, we're gonna have to just sit here and wait on this one and next week we'll have a look at Annie. Are you okay? Also final note here? I should say uh, Right now the bolt that is holding the weapon on and the weapon pulleys are all 3d printed That stuff is going to be replaced Eventually the bolts are on order and currently shipping to me and then these pulleys I'm gonna have to machine myself out of aluminium So that is all going to be coming up in the next video for this guy where we actually convert it from the wooden template here up to an actual full-on combat robot. 
are ready to fly over to the States and compete in ABC. Yeah, I think that's about it. This thing is just so cool and I am so keen to see this in full metal because it is going to look crazy and deadly. I mean, even in wood like this right now, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting to look at and it's just so much fun to play with actually. And I know I can't do that in the metal version because the metal version is going to take my finger off. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next video.